M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So let's add a 70 centimeter repeater to our 991A and tag it as well, add it to memory. First thing we're gonna do is get it into VFO mode. So press VFO and it should say VFO A here. Next, let's add the frequency. So we'll go band and we're gonna click enter and we're gonna type 430 nine two five naught naught and then enter so that's the output frequency now we need to select the shift so we're going to go f like so and we'll keep moving back or forward until we see repeater there and then we can change that we need a plus shift so we're going to keep tapping repeater until it says plus there you go we now have plus the next thing is we need to turn on the tone so here, just to the right, it says Tone DCS. You want to keep tapping. And I've been using ENCODE, but you could use CTCSS. But I like to use ENCODE so I can hear all the beeps. ENCODE. The next thing we need is our repeater frequency. So go forward, tone frequency, should I say. 77 hertz here. Now just tap it, and then you can change it with the multi-knob. All of these you can change with the multi-knob. So that's all those settings in. So if we come out now by pressing the F menu button, we give a quick test. We should hear it. I mean, I'm only using a rubber duck at the back, so it's just a quick test. M0 FXB test. No, it's not quite making it. So if you ever needed to change the tone or sort of frequency, watch this. Hold, push the F menu. Let's go again. Push the F menu. No, push the menu. There are. Go to menu 80, 81, 82. And this is where you can change the shift frequency if required. Like here it says 7, 600 megahertz on 77. You can actually change that. I just thought I'd chuck that in. I think it's a handy tip. But anyway, so we've got it all in there. The next thing we want to do is add it to memory. So push your AM button just once and you'll get a list of your memory channels. Use the multi knob to turn down until you get to a blank one. Once you get to a blank one, which is number four, make sure it highlights it in blue. Yeah, here. Then hold down AM again. It will beep twice. So right, it's now in memory channel four, but we're still in VFO mode. Let's go back into memory channel, like so. Now, if you want to change the memory channel using the multi knob. You do have to select it. Now I've got a shortcut here, MCH, and now I can go through my memory channels. Okay, now if you can't find the MCH there, just press the F button here, move forward or back until you see it. It's permanently there in the selections, and eventually you'll see one that says MCH, tap it, and you can now select and come out as well. You can now select memory channels there you go, like so, see? And if not, use your microphone, you've got up and down. And you can even use the, the fast button on the microphone as well. But anyway, oh, and you can hold down the, you can even hold down the up and down, it will start to scan through the memory channels. Anyway, next thing we need to do is tag it. So we want to tag memory channel four. So in memory mode, now push F at the top. Push and hold. Go down and highlight memory channel number four in blue and you could erase it but select tag and that is called g b three then fi so you just type it select one two three for numbers and then click enter okay now with a bit of luck we should be able to come out of that Come out of memory, go back into memory, and look at the top here, it says GB3FI. So that's your repeater all added for um, in your memory and tagged. So please like and subscribe my channel, and catch you on air, 7-3, all the best.